physiological basis of epilepsy. Epilepsy is characterized by uncontrolled activity of either palm or core of central nervous system. Main types of epilepsy are partial or focal seizures and generalized seizures. Partial focal seizures is of two types, simple partial seizures and complex partial seizures. Generalized seizures again divided into two varieties, conversive generalized seizures and non-conversive generalized seizures. Now, conversive generalized seizures or grand mal epilepsy, it is also known as tonic-clonic seizures. It is characterized by extreme neuronal discharge of cortex, deeper parts of cerebrum, brainstem and thalamus. Causes are hereditary predisposition to epilepsy. In such people, there is abnormal epileptogenic circuit which can be activated by few precipitating factors like strong emotional stimuli, alkalosis due to overbreathing, fever, certain drugs, loud noises or even flashing of lights. Another reason is traumatic lesion of brain can also cause epilepsy. Now, features of grand mal epilepsy, there will be generalized tonic seizures of entire body for about 30 seconds that will be followed by tonic clonic seizures for about 1 to 2 minutes. There will be a biting of tongue or person will try to swallow the tongue which will cause difficulty in breathing and even sinuses, urination and defecation. It is followed by post seizure depression of entire nervous system. EEG will show high voltage synchronous discharge of the entire cortex. Now, non-conversive generalized seizure or also called as petit mal epilepsy or Epson's seizures. It involves the basic telemorphotical brain activating system. Features are 3 to 30 seconds decrease in consciousness or loss of consciousness and switch like contractions of muscles, especially of the head region, like blinking of eyes, that will be followed by return of consciousness and resumption of normal activities. EEG shows spike and dome pattern. Now, focal epilepsy or partial seizures. It is mainly of two varieties, simple partial and complex partial seizures. In simple partial seizures, there is no loss of consciousness and in complex partial seizures, a conscious state is altered. Causes of focal epilepsy are congenitally deranged local circuit, destroyed area of brain, tumor of brain which compresses other structure of the brain, scar tissue in the brain which pulls adjacent neuronal tissue, localized organic lesion and functional abnormality of brain. In Jacksonian epilepsy, there will be a wave of excitation which is spread over the motor cortex which causes progressive march of muscle contraction throughout the opposite side of the body which starts from mouth and goes downward towards the legs. Now, psychomotor epilepsy. In psychomotor epilepsy, there will be a short period of amnesia. Then there will be a sudden anxiety 
or fear or discomfort then the abnormal attack of rage and a moment of incoherent speech and a motor attack to someone the person will not remember anything he or she did during the attack but at the time of attack the person is aware about the activity but cannot control it important points to remember what is epilepsy it is characterized by uncontrolled activity of either part or all of central nervous system what is postictal period the time after the seizures until normal neurological function returns is called as postictal period what is childhood absence epilepsy epilepsy due to mutations in a sub unit gene of gaba receptor called gabrb3 what is generalized epilepsy with febrile seizures it is inherited form of epilepsy due to mutation of scn1a and scn1b right possible mechanism of epilepsy release of glutamate from astrocytes rearrangement of astrocytes along with dendritic sprouting and new synapse formation form the structural basis for recurrent excitation in the brain causes epilepsy right physiological basis of treatment of epilepsy drugs act mainly by promoting inhibitory neurotransmission decreasing excitatory neurotransmission altering ionic conductance right mechanism of action of drugs used in treatment of epilepsy gabapentin acts by reducing calcium into the cells and decrease glutamate release topiramate blocks voltage gated sodium channels associated with glutamate receptors and potentiate the inhibitory action of gaba ethosuximide decreases the low threshold t type calcium currents in thalamic neurons valporate and phenytoin block high frequency firing of neurons by acting on voltage gated sodium channels and decreases glutamate release